If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. So today uh, we are going to do a very new type of integration. Okay. Okay. So uh, it uh, it can be it can be like uh, this. Uh, though this is the last one, but uh, I, I like we remember we talked about listener services. Okay, very long back. Yes. That, uh, We'll we we'll learn about listener services and we'll see how listener services work. Okay, so okay. today we are today we are going to learn about listener services on how listener services work actually. Okay, so uh, talking about listener services, what are listener services? Okay, so uh, for before that, I have I'll open something. Um, Postman. Okay, now why Postman? Okay, so Postman is a third party tool. Okay, just remember that it's a third party tool. so uh, when you are why it is used so when you do uh, when you do uh, uh, let's say when it when you do external when you do send something out of work day right or uh, when there is an external vendor involved right and you need to test so those integration for an example any integration uh, a client might be taking your uh, rest custom report url and he might be need to test your uh, get the data from your report the, so in that case uh, you just create an isu issg and uh, you create a custom report and you give the report url to client and isu issg access in the tenant name mm -hmm. so that client can access so if if you want to actually replicate the scenario okay that you in the same system you, there, there should be a client and the same system they should be worked there also so postman is such kind of a tool which provides you that facility mm -hmm. okay there's something called a soap ui also so um, for integration guys postman is like a very very important tool okay so that's why postman so and uh, next is that uh, listener services so listener services and postman why they are interlinked because uh, in order to check our integration calls we actually go ahead and do that in listener services so um, great now uh, just a minute okay now this is a normal studio okay in this studio what i have done i have done nothing i have uh, just created a integration listener example in the launch parameter there is nothing in services we just have a listener service now which is a listener service this one is a listener service create listener okay we just have to click this and we'll give any name okay, okay. and we'll, this a uh, listener service would be created okay then so li listener service is created means that uh, um, what to say listener service is created means that this integration is can be launched outside work day from outside work day okay i will launch it from postman into our work day tenant mm -hmm. we never did that right we went to the tenant and we launched the integration Correct. that's what we did yes. we never go in any third party postman or soap you and we launch the integration from there in work day we never do that okay so that's what we'll do today okay uh, listener services hmm so where should i launch it in what to know and the vector of dpt2 is a launch and we the launch here Okay, yeah, let's launch it here. So I'll uh, just a minute. We make it a default connection also. Great. Now what I have done here is nothing, but I have just created a start here. I have named the start here as remote call. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there is a get into event documents. Remember what the get event documents. It, it brings the It brings out the event documents. Means it brings out the, it brings out the 
whatever the documents you are sending okay but but like you will ask me that from where it will bring the documents you don't have any document retrieval service okay from you where you will bring the document from where this this component would actually extract the documents that is a big question here because earlier we used to have an input file we used to have all those kind of a stuff and that's how we used to get the file but in our, in this case we don't uh, means we we don't have a um, input file kind of a thing retrieval step or all those kind of a thing so get even documents will do what so get even documents will actually fetch the request which the vendor is sending from their side okay so what's the main what's the main use of launching the integration from vendor side the main use is they want to send something based upon their um, their availability or based upon their comfortness right that's what they need to do like i that's think the example to. yeah like the example that you gave last time was uh, let's say background check uh, exactly background check yep background right. check so in this case uh, basically so uh, if i just want to understand the workflow we are giving the employee id to the vendor and then the vendor is giving us the documents based only on that worker or on that event right exactly exactly so get Oops, event this, uh -huh. documents is to pull uh, whatever is being sent on this request or uh, i mean yeah you're right get even documents is to pull okay right so uh, if i do this will i get the output get it to us let's see that i get the output or not okay no worries so what i am doing i am attaching a copy statement next i am attaching a log next okay mm -hmm. why log to in order to see the uh, whatever i am sending xml or something like that and last last there is a pim which will say integration completed is message enabled store is something like this okay, okay. so this and is what copying... my whole integration is okay copying okay. yeah copying the message mediation context as in whatever is being sent so what is being sent how it is being sent okay so first and foremost we need to deploy this integration okay mm. first we will deploy this integration in our tenant okay so i'll deploy this integration which has a simple uh, listener call mm. so the integration is deployed okay now the next thing that we need to do is actually the next thing or what the, uh, let let it respond back first so i'll just check whether the integration is launched or not you see there is an integration launched yes right my integration is launched that's it my integration is there now okay now i need to launch this integration not in workday tenants but via postman okay correct yeah okay if if i'll just go to any events of this integration events there shouldn't be any events as of now right means i've never launched this integration mm -hmm. just deployed it into this integration so i won't find any row right okay there is a row okay means it's a i may have deployed it very much earlier okay 13 11 20 20 20 okay mm -hmm. so i maybe at that time but as of now there is no uh, deployment right for this integration correct 2021 in 13 so my goal is to launch this integration via postman okay how do i do that okay so when you have a listener service activated in your start here okay so you need to go to your integration in order to first get the launch url of the integration how do you get that okay first you go to your integration okay so my integration is somewhere here here it is t u yeah here it is is t u here it is okay so i have to click here okay 
like we go to debug like we do debug we go to debug we go to here okay we, now we click and we do a de debug here okay we do a debug similarly we have a launch integration a copy launch url okay okay when i do a copy launch url this will come okay i'll copy this whole thing in a clipboard okay, okay? next i go here okay what i'll do um, let's say i'll so what i am doing here okay i'll try to explain you um not this i'll create a new request okay http request now i am posting a data okay i am sending a data that's what vendor will do right to this url okay this would be the url okay this would be the url okay and the authentication okay what would be the authentication the authentication would be basic authentication basic authentication means whatever is username and password okay so username and password i have that uh, the username and password is like i have the username and the password okay this is the username and i already already have the password okay mm -hmm. okay now the thing next they will do they will write an xml and they will send it here okay i'll take any xml as of now okay let's uh, i have an xml here okay control c and i'll say raw i'll say xml i'll say send okay it's, just take it as like this is an xml data they will be sending me okay i have body okay now i'll do a send okay what happens okay authorization header not present okay wait a minute and the rate dpd2 just a minute we need to give the tenant name also i think so okay great so we had to be do something like see something like this isu some this at the rate a tenant name then your password and after that whatever body you are sending and after that post a request to this launch url what what it has done okay you will see a response like this you will see a response like this okay if you copy this okay integration event reference if you copy this and try to search this with here duplicate and try to search this vid here it you will see this is nothing but the integration event which has it been just, launched just launched okay you can see the same now you see here 1311 right i'll just refresh this page you see yeah. it right mm -hmm. and in the log i have just created i've given in the log also okay in that so i'll retrieve log files to see whether it has captured that xml message or not okay remember we sent an xml message so it will be there in the server log as we have kept logs in our system yes okay so i'll just see whether it has captured it or not so if you see here okay xml input starts okay now okay 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 so it has not worked wait i need to do something just a minute it has not worked because of the reason this just a minute
I'll try to launch the integration again. Send. It has launched it again. Now I'll see the new event. Back. So now again a new would be launched. Been launched. 857 this one. to see the log file i think so it should have generated if not we'll see to something so you see this yes this is what i we sent okay i did nothing okay don't worry on the what i did so i was just capturing this uh, in eval i would just did a two variable to which variable uh, send it to this variable and this variable i just copied it here and i was just printed this so this variable has whatever is being sent so what mm -hmm. is being sent this something like this like this is being sent okay report entry something like this okay now okay. our log has something like that yes our log pre higher like related that. data anything like okay something like that so whatever we sent it so we can later the point read the xml and update it in via workday web services or something like that now this gives mm -hmm. you an thing that you can launch your integration outside workday okay so i have launched it via postman okay you can also there is also java application for doing that okay so um, i have also uh, so if you see here so okay, we have, have actually it. have to provide sorry we actually have to provide that launch url to the exactly exactly so now you see here now you see here, this is Java I've written, okay? Hmm. Java application, Java code I've written, which is there inside this only. Now, if I run this Java code, okay, now I'll just go this here again. Okay. So, um, if I'll just uh, go back, okay? The last event is on 8.57, right? 8.57 a.m., mm -hmm. okay? Now, this is a Java code, okay? Now, Java code, I've given an endpoint URL, okay? Endpoint URL is nothing but the same URL, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I have, uh, okay, so this is a system dot out dot print element is just printing it, okay. Now here are a few classes that I've used, okay. Uh, I added some application JSON and everything, added headers and everything. Here I'm giving a username and a password, okay. Then I'm like giving, just so basically I'm just trying like, whatever is Postman is doing, I'm trying to do it via Java, okay. I'm trying to just do it via Java. Now how to run this, okay, just do a, uh, this and run as, Java application. So when it runs, it will run down. Okay. Now oh, it has ran. Okay. This has ran. The Java application is running. Now see, this is what we got as an, as an output. The event, same event. Let's see whether this Java application, which was running, I can launch the Java application outside Studio also. Has now this was 857 last, right? Triggered our integration or not? Nine, right? Yeah. So it, this also has triggered my integration. I can send a message in this Java also Java code. So this is a Java code that I wrote in which I just triggered the integration on that side. Okay. So again, I launched it via Java. I launched it via Postman. I can launch it via MS DOS also. Okay. What which we call as curl. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's called curl. In in curl also I can launch it. So in curl, I have to sp specify a particular command. What do you mean waste, do you mean waste time? So in curl, we need to give a specific command and that will also launch the integration. Curl is nothing but curl is again a, a shell scripting tool. So uh, that's how beneficial our listener services are. Why listener services are beneficial is because um, listener service provides an opportunity to launch the studio from outside work there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it is a very, it is a very good thing. Okay. So yeah, this is, this is everything. This is everything uh, about the listener studio services, I think. So, because there's nothing more to explain on the listener services. So that's it on the listener services. They can and, be, uh, uh, hmm? just uh, a question on the yes. use case. They can actually be used for um, not only 
retrieving some data out of workday but also like updating maybe a flag or something right on a case basis so we could actually use a listener service as an inbound as well yeah this is an inbound integration only we can actually you can take this and yeah uh, in it's an inbound integration only okay i mean may basically i meant that we actually to update something in uh, yeah yeah you can do that you can do that okay okay yeah so yeah so that's all, all thing about listener service so means we have done outbound studios you have done inbound studios we did payroll import of cycle studios also we did listener services also we got acquainted with local outs local lanes work days low yep. level handlers swim lanes um, get integration document http out also we async mediation sync mediation routes splitters aggregators page get then put integration with js xsd yes text schema also we learned about what is a wrap so csv to xml all those things set headers uh, yes we did about set headers also value validation mode when we were discussing all these we never use p64 encrypt decrypt is a normal thing so store also we discussed so we have almost covered 80% of the things or 85% of the things that's there in the palette and that's all you need to know for any of the integration builds in happening wherever happening in any implementation that is happening around throughout the world for on to work day so um i hope this uh, whole session was a good one to you like uh, it it so was definitely a, very it useful is, yeah. because i was starting from scratch so it was extremely uh, useful yeah so try whenever you get stuck try to uh, try to reach out to the videos okay i always go to the videos and just see whether you can do it or not or something like that so sure um so yeah that's that's it anamika so that's how we conclude the studio session and hope you had and let's uh, be connected in future also uh if you face any problem if you see anything happening with studio yeah i am always there available to uh to uh, to like to provide your uh, pro provide solutions to your doubt okay so never think on that i am just a call message and a call away so awesome okay? thank so, you so much tisha so you thank you for attending the session I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.